Hi guys, this will be episode two, looking at these Poundland um, light bulb string. I think we're getting no power from the solar panel through to the charging circuit. I would guess the battery was pre-charged when they put it in. So when I actually switched it on, the lights came on, but the lights didn't go out when I put it in the sunshine, and they should have gone out. And the reason they should go out is the little circuit in there should detect that there's power coming in from the solar panel and switch that power through to the battery and disconnect the LEDs. So, the wires are still in place. At both ends. Oh, actually. Those wires there, I uh, have to go close up. Hang on a minute. All right, I was just going to say that that wire there has got a fair bit of bare wire, but I don't think it's touching anything that could cause it to short out. Oh, we're out of focus. Hang on. Yeah, you can see one of the black wires there has got a fair bit of loose conductor at the end of it. That one there that I'm pulling. But I don't think that's shorting anything out. Anyway, let's um, go back to normal. What we need to do is have three or four hands because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to do this easily. Let's go on to volts. I would expect to see nothing on the battery at the moment. Uh, 0.65 of a volt. I turn that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, bat battery's pretty well flat. Right, that one says positive. That one says negative. We're showing half a volt. Oh, we are getting... Yeah. So the solar panel itself is working. Into there. Yeah, we're getting power through to the board that's now on now we're getting light through or power through the only thing i can imagine is whether that wire there where i just showed you on close up does look like it could potentially have been shorting across to one of the other tags. I know what I can do. I'll put a fresh recharged battery in there. And 
and see if we can light up the light bulbs. Right, this one is charged. So I'll put that in there. Yes, right, hang on. I'll put the lights out. Move the camera so you can see what I'm looking at. You can see they're all alight. And if I bring the light up just enough. So if I just play with those wires there, see if I can short anything out. Yeah. If I bring the light up so you can see what I'm doing, if I use the tip of the screwdriver to short out, I don't know if you can see the lights coming on in the background there. So before we put the lights out yesterday, yesterday, yeah, it was yesterday, um, I took it apart to have a look at what was inside and I expect that in moving it around those rather poor wires there with the the unsoldered conductors blowing around in the breeze I may have put that put it back together so it was actually shorting across across there and actually causing the lights to come on permanently. So I will re-solder them so they're a bit neater. And we should be good to go. That's my neater bit of soldering where I've taken the insulation right up to the edge of the soldering. So it's not waving around in the breeze, shorting across to the other terminals or the other tags. Right. Well, I've recharged the battery and I've put them back out tonight. Well, that's my security lights just gone off, so we can see them a bit clearer. So they will run the battery down tonight and then hopefully they'll re recharge tomorrow or the battery will recharge tomorrow we get sunshine or enough sunshine anyway out in the garden it's about half past nine so it's not dark yet but obviously the sun has gone down so if I put my hand over the there there we go So it looks like we fixed it. That's good. Just a little bit later in the evening, uh, quarter to ten now, and you can see they have come on nicely. Yeah, well I'm glad about that. I don't like buying things and finding they don't work, but I honestly think it was probably me taking them apart to have a look at the circuit board that caused the problem. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.